Museum of Art, and I'm here to tell you about Elisa Sicilianos Carter's solo exhibition at the museum called In Space and Splendor, A Topography of Wildness. together at another institution and I've always really admired her practice and um, her commitment to her practice and so he's always sort of looking for the right time for us to work together at the museum and um, when this time slot became available I thought of her and we've been working and planning the show for a little over a year. It opened in November, November 18th and it's up through March. And what I think is really interesting and special about this exhibition is that um, we've created an environment in which Elisa, the artist herself, can sort of push her practice in a new direction. She, um, for many years, um, was trained as a painter and has worked um, in figurative painting, so um, using similar imagery, but really her work was really emphasized in the figure. Um, and this is the first full exhibition where she's really departed from that. So if you look up um, at the show, if you look at the show, you can see um, that she's using primarily these motifs of hair, and there's two of them in the exhibition. There's the sort of orangey brown, and then this um, purple um, motif that she has um, modified digitally. So she expands it and contracts it, makes it smaller, makes it bigger, um, in order to really uh, take over the space. Um, and then she, she prints it, and then she modifies it after it's been printed. So um, in, in all the work in the show, she really uses a lot of, of glitter, so she has this very painterly way of engaging with glitter. Um, so she has a um, very detailed commitment uh, to the glitter that emphasizes certain parts of the work. Um, and so it's exciting to see her sort of challenge herself in this way and, and make, a, make work that departs from previous bodies of work and builds on it. One of the things that I'm excited about when thinking about this show and talking about this show, particularly with um, groups of kids or school groups, is to really define um, the idea of sort of an installation practice. And so, as I mentioned, um, Elisa has a huge and complex and uh, very deep practice in painting and figurative painting and has really departed, departed from the sort of preciousness of that practice to take over the space, to really make it feel like um, an environment where things aren't framed, where it's not this one precious work of art on the wall, it's the whole space. And so you can notice the ways that she does that in this exhibition with um, the whole wall being taken up to using unique parts of the room like the corners and the, the unconventional places on the wall. She's really trying to create an environment that is immersive. So this exhibition sort of in its entirety is talking about um, this sort of ancestral liberation for people of color and that sort of is a through line throughout Elisa's practice. And this installation in the center of the space talks about that in a really specific and personal way. And so Elisa recently with her partner and her family was able to purchase some land, um, I believe in upstate um, New York on the East Coast, um, and sort of has spent time uh, engaging that land in a very specific way that's really nurturing to her identity. Um, and so she's collected some, some rocks from land that she owns, which is important to know, um, and taken them and cast them. So I'm allowed to touch it because I'm the curator. <laughs> um, and she's cast them in acrylic. Um, they're very light, but she's cast them in acrylic as sort of a way, she considers them sort of moon rocks tying into this theme of astrology and the universe. Um, um, and she's, she's cast them in acrylic. And um, she also, if you look closely, you can see she has 
continued with the work around hair, black hair, braids, um, and has included some um, really lovely details in some of the casts that she's made. That's sort of what this installation addresses and brings into the show. It's sort of a, a sculptural rooting and centering of the exhibition. So I encourage you, when you come to the museum, to, um, first of all, start thinking about sort of some of the themes that you've noticed or that I've shared and pay really close attention to some of the details in, in the installation, the way the artist is using her experience and history as a painter to, um, to build on this particular installation. Um, 